Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back. So I redid the littlest one and I think I discovered that this is part two of my little um, undersea votives that if you put more little snakes together when you're making the, the striations it works better but I kind of do like the bigger so instead of it being stripey anyway it's just you're gonna have to play and practice and do it but I, I redid this one um, and then I have this one and you and I'm still working on softly gently you can blend out the seams um, if you really hate them they will blend and you can actually get them to look like they uh, were made like that you know so the Sculpey 3 is so soft. I don't think I like working with it, to be honest with you. All right. I also had these little tins that I got at Joann's. <clears throat> I think they still have them. They were all different sizes. This is only about 2 by 2 But I had some left over when I redid it. So I just covered a tin with it. And I'm just going to make a little mini one under the C thing. The only difference would be I'm not going to cut holes the way I would with um, the glass. So I'm going to do it a different way. So I'm just going to set that aside. All right, so let's start. I have my cookie cutters, my little cookie cutters. And then I also have a tool called the cut and curl, I think it's called. Or, and I want to get that too because I forgot about this. This is like a little circle maker and it kind of makes um, like a pearl. That's why it's called a cut and curl. <clears throat> but let's just, I'm going to take this one first and just start. I'm going to, if you really hate a spot, this is a way for you to cover it up or get rid of it is, is really more. And I like to use, it doesn't matter if you make big ones or little ones because if you put look you can put a fish right over a hole like you're just gonna put the anything you want right over the holes but the holes is to give the votive look you know the um so your candle can shine through so I'm gonna start with my big well this is an is not actually the biggest I can do I'll do a couple really big ones and then I'm gonna go with smaller ones so you're really going to be able to eliminate a lot of the things you don't like if you hate some spots if you have bubbles air bubbles I haven't done this in a long time but you know it's not that hard just go with the flow that's what we have to remember let's start taking them out so that I can see what we're is so sticky might help if you really cut like turn the um, cookie cutter so that you really cut it out because it's not really coming out the Sculpey 3 is so sticky but it's not a problem because I mean you can get it out you can just it's just not going to be as easy as a normal You have to kind of scrape it out. The clay sticks to itself too, so um, it helps if you maybe use clay to pull it out. And I'll go around and I'll um, 
fix them. Maybe I'll just recut it to make sure that it goes all the way through. Yeah, that helps. And then all this clay is scraps and you know maybe you could twist it into another background color blue or just use it in a different project. I'll use it in this project. I will put little bubbly things, texture pieces in there. Um, you guys, I would love to see what you create as well. Um, post it on my Facebook page and share how your backgrounds turned out and how what kind of fishies you're using and all that good stuff. I love it. You guys have such great imaginations. So I'm going to make more. But let me see. See, I'm not even going to ball it up. I'm just going to leave it like this. And if I run it through here, look. That could be the top of another lid. Look at that. OMG. Gorge. And then on my smaller votive, I'll only use, I mean, I don't think I want to use that big, but I'll just go... So you get the idea. And then the little holes I kind of put in after. After I add all my fishes and my um, seaweed and all that stuff, I kind of use those to make it look like bubbles. So I'll put it right where the, I'll show you. So on this one, See how I made it like trail up? Kind of looks like it's bubbles coming from the bottom. I mean, that was just what I decided to do. I also made some white bubbles with white clay and I put like bling in there. So I didn't go crazy with the hole, so I'm going a little crazy on this little <laughs> one. And then, see there's a, a, a bubble right here. I'm going to pop it. And just push the air out so I'll go off camera and I'll finish all my bubbles and then we'll be back and we'll play with the mold okay sorry about that to do the seaweed I just like the way it looks I mean it really is cool guys some are browner than others I'm gonna do I have this really really fluorescent green color right here so I'm gonna play with this is all scraps that I had so I can't tell you what colors they were. Um, and that's kind of the fun of it too. Go through your scraps and um, pull mixes or whatever. Use mixes, you know. Just throw a bunch of greens together. See what you get. Now this one we don't have to be as specific because we're going to cut the seaweeds out. I mean specific like striation wise. But I am going to roll out all these colors and I have to make a lot because I'm doing all these different votives and depending on the size of your votive like for this one obviously I don't need very long pieces of clay because I only need to fill that one now this one I would like see look at this I'm gonna put a lip on them at the end because it's gonna get the more I handle it the more 
I'm gonna have to fix. Oh Lord. Um, anywho, um, I will fix it. So this, I would probably want my some seaweed may come all the way up to the top of this votive. So depending on the size jar you're using, you're gonna wanna consider that. And I'm going to see what I want when I get to it. Hi, Jen. Sorry, I I gotta go close the back door now. Oh, geez. It's hot today, let's see. 81, mostly cloudy, and I think we're supposed to get a thunderstorm tonight. So, I figured it was a good day to clay. I could have gone, probably could have gone paddle boarding this morning if I'd have thought of it, because um, it's down the shore, so it's definitely, see I'm about 20 minutes from the shore, so it's not as um, hot at the shore as it is here. It's a, you get the the ocean breeze, and it's definitely, um, see, that's not completely, um, what's it called, uh, conditioned, if it starts to fall apart like that. So let's see, is this the same color? It's a little bit different. Like, this one actually looks like it has a little pearl in it compared to that one. So I have this gold, but I don't know. I, I'm, I don't want to get too crazy. I want it to be green with a little bit of brown, I think. So maybe I will put a little bit of that gold in. So I'm just rolling out these snakes. Doop -de doo Jenny, why are you crying? Hmm? I hope this works. Because, like, this is, this is it. This is my scraps and my clay, and this is what I have. So, I hope it works. I mean, I actually love the way this came out. This was just the scraps of the holes. This was all the holes that I cut out, and I just mushed them together and put them through the pasta machine, and it made that, so I don't know. All right. Some of these are longer. I don't know if that matters. See, when you're doing canes, it matters, but when you're doing this, it doesn't matter, does it? Hi, Jen. So I didn't put any of the gold in. Jenny, why are you crying? Huh? I don't want to lose the green. I got to have the green on the outside. This light green. And twist it. And Blue is so sticky. Oh wow, well, look, there's no brown. I'm gonna cut it in half and put it through. Fold it. Now I'm just winging it because I really don't know what I want it to do. Like, I'm not that good at playing to know. But it looks cool. I don't know what I should be doing. I should be doing something specific that I don't understand, like that. I think I like that piece better. Oh, my wonky pasta machine. Now that got, see how it, I overblended it? I don't like that. All right, so I got to go thinner. So I'm gonna. This is. It didn't work. I messed it up. So I'm sorry. I'm not a good teacher. I just put it through to get it thinner. I could probably go down one more. 
don't know if I need to. I'm going to leave it, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it this size. All right, so now you take your X-Acto knife, and we're not going to put the um, sand on yet. We're going to do this part first because, see, you can overlap things. So I put the seaweed on first, and uh-oh, i got to charge the battery at sight. Hopefully, it, oh, it's still recording, but I, got, I just got to plug in. There we go. Um, what was I saying? I put the coral on the outside of the sand, but I mean, I did put, and some of the, look, some of the, after I filled in, if I thought I needed another one, so you're not, and this is over the sand, these are under the sand. Like, I thought I needed, see, I wanted to overlap, put this over that. So really the sand should go last, I think. So we'll put all the seaweed, the coral, anything else you want growing out of the ocean, and then we'll put the sand. So I'm going to use this to do Joe's. I'm just going to work on Joe's for now, which is the messiest one. This one is a mess. Like, I think I should put this in the refrigerator. Because look, this clay is so sticky. Every time I try to fix it, it just gets worse. Um, but yeah, I could put this in the refrigerator. There's a, one thing I was doing, I was just using the cookie cutter to kind of make the edges a little cleaner, like just push up against it. But it doesn't work. All right, Kiwi, not right in my ear. All right, so let's see. Here's what you want to do. Make a straight line. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to make some really tall ones. I'm going to start over here. Dang it, do I like this side? I think I like this side. And you just want to make... Can you see what I'm doing? And I like to go thick, thin, all different. And I'm going to go even taller. right then you got to do some short ones and maybe I'll turn them over if I like the other side better do some fatter little thick ones this actually makes it did you just poop on me oh, you little creep um Sorry about that. She got it on my shirt. Um, I'll leave that piece and I'm just going to keep going. Even some shorter ones. I could always cut those shorter. You know, the tall ones don't always have to stay tall because they can be cut. And just take that off. I also would use, like, I think I'm going to use a needle tool. Oops. 
have to pick it up with a uh, blade. And you can kind of bend them at the thick parts. That's what I did on my other one, and I really like that. You can tip it, make a little curly John there. That's my New Jersey John. John is actually Philly, supposedly, but I say John. Um, see what colors the other side is. No, I like this one. And I'm just going to go around and put a tall one on the other side. Like, I don't want all tall ones. just kind of bend them if you want kind of like they're the current is moving them give it some movement <clears throat> I don't know if I was in the shot that's what happens I get so focused on what I'm doing It could be thinner. This this is kind of thick, and if it's thinner, it also could break when you bake it. After you break it, uh, bake it, but it could be thinner, and you could uh, really get some good curls and different movement out of it. So that's good. You can overlap them. Um, I made my little uh, seahorse holding on to one of these. I'm gonna need more, huh? I'm just going to put these on and then we're going to do a piece of coral because uh, these can go on top of the coral too as you saw. Well, that's kind of the same size. Let's put this one here. I'm going to zoom back out because I don't want to forget. Oops, sorry guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm trying to twist these and stick them. So that, I like the color though, it's bright. It's going to be good. I'm going to do that a little bit more um, and then I'm going to make coral. Now I've decided to use a coral color for coral. I want to do a red, it's like a this is not red. It's actually called magenta pearl, but it's scrap. This is purple. I think this is the only purple I have. I'm going to use that for my um, seahorse. Maybe I'll just go with this coral color for the coral. So let me, you know what? I have this though. This is gorge and this. These are both gorge. So I'm going to do my coral in these colors. So this one's already... Um, I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it through the pasta machine, but I don't want it to be too thick, too thin. I'm going to use, let's see. So, you can make it short and this is about like a five. It's definitely thicker than I've been using so far, so I'm going to make this a little thicker. And I'm again just going to shape using my X Acto blade some like finger things. Um, 
Hopefully it'll look like coral. And you can always add another one if you didn't if you feel like you didn't put enough. And coral is funny looking too, like it's not just so that's good. I like the shape of it. And then I'm gonna take my pokey tool. This is actually this is the um, ball tool, but you can just start to make texture all over it. Oops, not see how rough I am and this will round out the like don't forget me am I zoomed in you can hit the sides is what I'm saying so instead of it being squarish because I cut it with the exacto blade like I'm flattening it out sort of because it is it's like rounded like a branch and Let's see how it turns out. I'm just going to town. Don't give it too much thought. Unless you're a scuba diver and you really know what coral looks like and you're a realist sculptor. See, this looks kind of thick. I don't like the thickness of that one, so I'm going to trim it down a little bit. I don't know if I actually did. always reshape it and then I'm going to take the pokey tool and do more because it actually does have holes in it like I love the color. For sure the color is so pretty. I want to hit the edges and just get rid of that squareness. to me. I'm going to go back up. Sorry, I was super zoomed in. And let's stick it somewhere. Put If I put it there, it goes on over the um, seaweed. And once I, you just give it good pressure and I'll come back and I'll put more um, dents on there in a minute but I just wanted to get it adhered and see I'm not using any liquid Sculpey or anything it's it's gonna be fine it'll stick so cool all right I think I'm gonna make like a different color I'm gonna use this orangey one too I don't have a lot of it but I'll maybe make a taller or some taller one there was a I told you guys I think I told you I don't know whose uh, channel it was, but she was making coral, and she made all different kinds. Like, I'll show you this kind. This is what we could do. Um, she made little tubes, which I could just roll these out. But this might make them, make them easier to um, keep the same size. And... So I'm going to round this maybe cut it in half and she took the ball tool and made like a little any over here so like little tubes I don't know if you can see this and so there actually I probably only need to do one end of it but I think you might have seen these well if you go to an aquarium or something 
they're like these little tubey things. I'm gonna do I'm gonna make one of them. Alright, so this is each one of these will be like two tubes. Am I in the shot? So I'm just I just cut them like that to make it easier to keep them the same size, but that doesn't mean anything because I'm so rough. But isn't this a gorgeous color? I'm just gonna have them and then take the little and try to make a little end part like that. I'm going to make a shorter one. What do you think? Is that like a corally thing? Maybe I should bend a few of them. So yeah, I mean, look on YouTube. There's other um, polymer clay artists that do stuff like this that could inspire you or You might want to try something different than what I'm doing. Your ocean. I don't remember how she did it, to be honest, so I'm just going to cut it like that. And then I'm going to, like, I think I'll poke it a little, like, make some pokey. I should have probably done each one separately. But I think she did poke some texture into it. I don't even know if I'm in the shot. Kiwi, why did you poop on my shirt? And then you can like bend them like that. Does that look cool? I think it does. Let's put that somewhere. Uh, over here maybe. And I'm just gonna flatten it out and put it on there, but I will um, add more texture. So the only thing is, this could come unstuck, or no, not unstuck. It won't come unstuck. It will, um, it could break off. Like if you, if you, once it bakes, if you catch it on something, it could um, break off, I guess. So just be careful. I'm going to just try to, I don't know what, maybe get it to adhere some way or something. Am I still zoomed in? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I think it's too close. You can't really see what I'm doing. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I need to get it adhered. So I'm pushing like in the middle. And then I'll texturize it more. And I'll put the um, put lines like where it separates and stuff. But I think that gets the idea. And then, so they're kind of opposite each other. That might be enough coral, or just another smaller piece. Uh, oh God! I could add some shells. But we're gonna start. We're gonna use the. Um, Let's do a couple more uh, pieces of seaweed and then I can put shells and then I'll put seaweed on top of, uh, I need a couple more pieces of seaweed. So I'm going to take this and just use these little pieces. Um, 
So basically, put that like that, and that's a seaweed. Just have to fix the top. Just go ahead. Jenny's afraid of our stairs. She's fallen a couple times, like not hard, but you know, stumbled down the stairs. So um, she just cries until she gets up the courage to go. Oopsie. See, I'm getting rough. That's my impatience and my rushing so let's put a couple more uh, see, and then you could take one and put it over top of you don't want to cover up all your work you just did, so make it kind of <laughs> maybe another little one. But I don't want to get, I should put shells. Let me put one over this. No, not that one. I don't really want to cover it up. And we still have to put fish in everything so you know you can get carried away um, I think I want to put the shells on top of the sand so I need to figure out another coral or not let me think I really like this see I did the red and the, that was the other color and then Oh, I did that color. So I think I'm going to do the red. Should I do yellow? I want to do yellow. I have this yellow. Let me put this one here too. Mm, I'll put the yellow on top of this one. So I'll put that behind the... Um, piece of yellow coral. So I'll put the yellow coral on top of that one. Now what shape coral should I make of this one? So I did this red one and a big red one. So I think I'll just do a bigger in yellow. I'll do a bigger kind of like tree one. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I was just, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm going to go a little thinner and I think I'll go like this, having a hot flash, a tropical hot flash. Okay, so make it, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna look at my other one so I can say, oh, oh, I like that. Cause look, like you go, you can go up. Am I, let me zoom in cause this is yellow. And I'm gonna go, over here it's like a cactus almost 
and then you can make like just a twofer right here like it's connected to the same thing make a twofer if you know what I'm saying I don't know we'll see oops we shall see after I do it I like it cool so I'm gonna do the same thing texturize it somewhat kind of get the squareness out of it and oh you can always add mica powders I'll do that after they're stuck on there you can always add them after sometimes when you're working with mica powders if you get them on the surface of the clay and you're and you'd like to adhere something to it it won't stick as well because they're definitely um, metallic and slick so get everything stuck where you want it first and then add mica powders that's my suggestion but I am no expert you may know better and uh, but they add so much shine and like on this yellow one I could add like a gold or a coppery mica powder and it would just give it so much dimension so this looks a little tight there so when I when I stick it down I'm gonna bend it but now I'm just gonna go in with the air conditioning giving it air holes this is really cool see this is making me happy <laughs> because that blue clay was giving me a hard time it was so sticky all right so now and this is going to be so colorful you guys OMG. okay I'm stick my hand in there let me zoom up before I get you crazy and I was going to put it right on top of this one I'm going to move these fingers around a little bit and see. Cool beans. I think I need to just go back in and round some of the squareness of it. And that gets to stick better too. You could use probably a bigger pokey tool if you needed. Um, I like the size of this one. It's, it's like the average size of a stylus. It just happens to be in my polymer clay tools. Came with them. But a regular stylus is good.
I'm really trying not to lay this down and squish everything else I made. It's a little awkward to work with, but it's super cool. So I was just pushing on this edge. So I kind of need something else here, but it could just be a big shell. Like this big shell could look really pretty there. I have a, a white pearl, but it could be pink. You know, like if you have um, a pink pearl, it's your ocean. But I think I'm going to try this. I just got to get it really um, conditioned. And you don't want to put, when you're working with a, um, you could uh, do this with water. Um, what's it called? Like just put a little water in there to, so that it will come out. Let's just try it first and then um, we'll see. So that looks like it'll fit and just give it some pressure oh that's perfect look at that oh come on Sarah that was really good well I mean I used the right amount of clay but you can then take your blade and just shave off see I, I must it up because I don't want it to be too thick so if I hollow it out a little bit and then hopefully it'll release and if it's too sticky like it's hot today and humid so no, it looks good. Nice. Nice. Can you see that? So let's see if that'll look good right here. That is a big shell though. I don't know if I don't know if it looks right. I don't think it looks right. I think I'm gonna do a starfish and like a different shell. This one's just too big. So what color is starfish? Starfishes are kind of orange. So I have this, ooh, I have this orange. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. Super soft. So let's see if that. Need a little bit more, I think. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. You can make a gold starfish. I think this orange is going to look pretty. I kind of want to put sand down there first, too. So let me, I always have a little tile to the side to use to like sit stuff on. So I'm just gonna sit this guy over there so he'll be ready to put down when I need him. Probably could use a little bit of water just so that it would release nicer and I don't, when you pull it out you might distort it or because the clay is so soft it I could just rip the whole thing and So having a little water as a release agent is a good idea. Oh man, that is cool though. Definitely a lot of texture on him. I like him. I'm going to set him aside. I'll probably use that. And I wasn't going to use my other mold, but I might. Where did I put it? Because I thought I had a starfish on there too. I don't know where I put it now. Oh shit, sorry. I just leaned right on Kiwi's poop. Whatever, I'll have to change my shirt. <clears throat> um, let's do a different shell. I just want to do like, maybe I'll do the smaller clam shell. And then a conch shell. So I'll put a bunch of shells over here. And then I will find the other um, mold because uh, it has little mussels like I would like to use black for the mussels this is gonna be good this will be the right size proportionate to this project I think that'll be good and then let me do um, there's two different ones I should show you the shell Joe found when we were snorkeling I didn't even think of it in Florida 
as we were coming into the shore he started we started looking just in the sand and he found he found shells like whole shells like this because I wasn't focused on that I was trying to find fish but he is smart but I would have just spent the day you could just spend the day looking for seashells that's when you're snorkeling oh dear so that's cool I think it needs to be a little pink. I'm just going to set them over here and I'm going to see if, you know what I want to do? Set him aside. I want to see if I can make this fish pink and pink and orange. So I was going to do this fish. I'll zoom in. Right here. I want to do his fins pink. So I'm just going to push some pink over here for the fins. I don't know if this is how you do it, but I'm gonna try. Maybe I should be putting the orange in first. I don't know, let's put the orange. So complicated, Sarah, you're so complicated. So put the orange where the fish body goes. and then fill in the rest with the pink. That's what you do. I don't know, maybe. Sounds good to me. Sometimes I think you can cut the um, silicone. I'm rough, but like depending on the um, quality, I'm sure of the of the silicone, it can um, I can cut it with my blade. So this looks pretty good. Let's see what happens. That's pretty cool. I think I like them. I think I'm gonna use them. He's so colorful. Um, all right, so I am going to, I might have to put some sand down. Oh, there's sand dollars. Isn't that what that's called, a sand dollar? See, I gotta use a different color for shells too. Though, I mean, they are mostly, you know what I have? Is this this is regular white and this is like a pearl white <gasps> I have gold I don't know if they're gold but I'll try it let's do a gold sand dollar Do a white, white, like a white <laughs> um, other sand dollar. Because sand dollars are white. So let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I wonder if we would have found any sand dollars in the ocean. See now, I think we're going to go back uh, to Palm Be West Palm Beach at Singer Island in October, I think, because it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's off season. That looks cool. And see the difference? These are pearl. That's white. This is gold, so let's see the gold. Sand dollars aren't gold. And it, it's like, I don't know if that's as good of an um, impression. What color pink should I? I feel like I want to mix some pink and white, pink and pearl. I'm going to take a little bit of this pink and I'm going to mix it with pearl. That much. 
I'm just going to mix it, mix it, mix it and see what happens. I think the pink is overwhelming it. That was a lot of pigment maybe. It's not really getting lighter. Kinda. Probably just need a little more. I'm going to put a little more pearl in it. Maybe the pink and gold would be a good mix. Go back up. I can't believe you pooped all over me, mean girl. That's what birds do. They're light for flight. They got to poop a lot. And usually she gets off me. She doesn't do it on me. She'll get off me and she'll go on the back of my chair and like go on the floor. And then I can wipe it up nice and easy. But she didn't do that. Damn it. I made a mess because I sat back in it. Sorry. TMI. <laughs> I'm having a hot flash. Let me turn on the... I hope this is not going to hit the microphone, though. I'm having fun, though, you guys. I'm excited. See this color. See, this is pretty. It's getting all over me, though. Look. See that? But I'm going to do this shell. I'm going to do... Go ahead, Kate. I'm going to do... Maybe this shell. This is the shell that like kind of has pink on the inside of it. Let's just make the whole thing pink. I think that's going to be good. pearl is so pretty but don't forget your mica powders if you don't have any pearl clay and you have mica powders or if you don't have mica powders and you have pearl clay just do what you have oh geez I like that I'll use that one that is so pretty the color except for that big blop of uh I'll do it again all right you guys I'm gonna go away I'm gonna make a few things and then we're gonna assemble all right, I'm going to finish this section with the sand. I just picked, it's kind of like a gold. It's a shimmery. Sand can be white, really light colored sand, but I like this color. Um, so it, use what you have. And let's see, I'm going to put it in. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at a number seven. Actually, I don't know what number. I can't tell. Anywho, I'm going to cut it flat along the bottom. And so like this could be sand right here. Oh, that looks cool. I kind of like that. I didn't mean to do that, but I kind of like it. I'm going to put a little pile here. I'm going to put the pile there. I didn't texturize it or anything. And just start laying in. That was what they call a happy accident because I just like the shape of it I don't know if I want to cover up that much of the um, yellow coral but For right now, I really like that. Um, I don't know. Don't know what sand is like, but.
and you can overlap it because it will look neat like the like the sand is actually um, has a little hill overlapping another area make it really thin here And I don't love how this I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that off yep really just adhering it to the bottom and then I'm just touching it up like that like to keep that that edge there's all types of ooh, all types of smoothing tools that I I don't tend to use I wing it a lot more than I like it all right now I can put um, that seashell, see, I'm going to put this And I'm going to put the pink one. I did it in pink. I just mixed some pearl. I'm going to put that one. Don't like it. I'm going to do that one right there. Actually, this one is from the other mold, um, but it's still the same type of shell. Um, I think I want the pink one. They're kind of big. I don't want to cover up too much. Let's see. I have my seahorse. I just mixed some of the gold with that magenta. And I think I'm going to put him right here. I have a sea turtle that I used from the other mold, the bigger mold. I have a small one too. But I think I'm going to use the bigger one. Put him right here. I think the fish. I'm going to use the fish there. The orange and pink fish. And the sea turtle. Maybe right here. Oops, I squished his face. I squished his little face. I could put little gems in his eyes. I just want to get him stuck down. I don't want to lose too much of the... Um. And then the rest I have is seashells, so I have to see. But look at this hole, how it got so distorted. Oh, dear. I have to... Um, texturize my sand but what other critter do I want to put I could do another fish a pink and orange fish yeah I think I need to put or maybe I'll just do 
this fish, just an orange fish, or like a, a yellow fish, yellow. Yellow and black, I saw a lot of yellow and black. Do I have yellow? I don't think I, oh, I have yellow, so I'd have to put him all the way over here. Um, anywho, so that's it. I wanna, I, I'll go off camera and I'll get it finished with all the critters, and then I'll come back and show you the finishing touches. All right, it's much more colorful than my other one. All right, be right back. All right, I think I did good. I think I made this side a little heavy. Like, I put two big things. Like, I should have just left, put him up higher. And then, you know what I mean? But everything's so sticky, I can't change it. Because this looks good. Or maybe put the sea turtle over here. Anyway, you won't see it all at one time. That's the good part. So I got to texturize the sand and actually I'm going to get a texture sheet. I forgot about that, but since I have one and it'll just change, it'll save me the, all the dib dab and, and um, this is it. This is called sand. So I'm just going to take it and gently just using a corner, touch the sand like so should have probably done it before I adhered everything to it you know oopsie but that's my impatience um, what else was I gonna say so I'm gonna do a number three a video three because I don't even know if I have any room on here I've been going to town so I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna s upload this to my computer whatever's on here and then the next video will be cleaning it up, finishing it up, putting all the details on. Like, I'm going to put a lip of clay around the top. I'm going to put eyeballs. I gathered up little things like this. I'm going to put the bubbles. So I need some white, so this stuff. I'm going to do white bubbles. I'm going to make the holes for the bubbles. And I'm going to put eyeballs. And then I'm just going to put the lip of clay around the top. Um, I think I want to add feet too. So that's what it'll be for number three. It's so colorful. I love it. This side's a little too full, but that's okay. I think it turned out really nice. All right, so I'll be back with number three. Thanks for watching.